Well, good morning. My name is uh, Walter L. Robinson, and we are <laughs> we're back working on the water shoes. Uh, we appreciate you guys being here. Uh, you know, the, we, we're moving into our second year, and uh, we've done a lot of stuff in our first year, and uh, hopefully, we'll do a lot of uh, more uh, really outstanding and creative things in our in in in, in our second year. Uh, we do bit by bit, piece by piece material, and uh, so you can see it. We do the same thing, but usually from a different perspective. And the theory is that uh, uh, we show the same thing several times from a different perspective, adding more material in, and that way, um, hopefully, you can see the thing, the water shoes, in a different light, and, fr and from a different point of view, and you can add more things to it so we get more of a fuller um, picture of the water shoes. And we just want to reiterate real quick, uh, we want to thank uh, YouTube and all that. We want to thank uh, my, my, my good buddy, uh, Glozell, uh, for uh, you know, giving us support and all that and some guidance and we, we do we do appreciate that. And it appears that we are getting better. You know, we're, 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 we're picking up a few more people and all that and we appreciate that. We appreciate the guys in Japan, Ohio Gazamas and uh, Domo Aligato. You know, uh, we, we appreciate you guys hanging in there with us and um, because the water shoes is a oriental uh, origin of it, the water shoes is of oriental origin and we, uh, we, we we went through that before but we think it, it's, it's coming out of early China on the uh, Yangtze River and, uh, and some of the other major rivers where they grew bamboo uh, up, in, uh, up in, in, in the highlands and as the streams move into rivers on down the Yangtze and, and other rivers on down. They cut the bamboo, put it in the water, and uh, they use bamboo uh, rafts. And we recognize the water shoe as being a bit of a raft that's split down the middle, and so you can move independently of each other in a walking or sliding motion. <clears throat> we realize also that the, uh, the, the, the uh, Japanese ninja this, this water shoe was introduced into Japan uh, from China with the martial arts and they began to use this uh, to get through marsh and swamp and bog and, and, and all, all, <laughs> all, the other, all the other good stuff. So wh what happened, um, this became a vehicle for the ninja and so this is the Japanese origin and uh, it, it was a long time before we were able to actually see how the ninja actually used water shoes but we did find finally got into uh, uh, the ninja bamboo water shoe and the ninja uh, hog skin or air mattress type water shoe when they put a frame over a pig skin air mattress and you get <clears throat> you get uh, flotation uh, and, and you know history is like this and that and, and hopefully one day maybe we will Build a ninja water shoe and actually go out, go go out on it. You know, if, if we could find some air, uh, air mattress. You know, we, we're here in, in, in Okinawa, Japan, and uh, we've been here for the last uh, I don't know, twelve years or so. You know, the wife is a teacher. We teach uh, the military kids, and so you know, I do this on my off time. But <clears throat> we appreciate you guys being with us. And, and today, hopefully, we, we've been covering. I, I think the last. Our program was V. If I could understand my, see my alphabet U V W. So now this is going to be W. And when what we'll do here again, we we put the thing. Uh, uh, it, we we do an hour program, then we cut it up into in, into shorter pieces so we can give you something almost almost every day. And then of course you can put the pieces together. And, 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 you know, just cut the thing on so you got a long program. You don't have to do uh, bits and pieces. So what we're going to do, um, 
you can see the shoes in the background, and this is what we're going to be working on. And, and, and we're going to continue with shape and, and focus more on more realistic shape and why we do what we do with the physics. <laughs> because I think one of the main reasons the thing got lost before because we didn't apply aquatic aquatic physics to to the material. And so, first of all, you know, the water shoes is in the category of small boats. So uh, these uh, s small boats and boards, surfboards, uh, boogie boards, uh, sail sail boards. So we're looking at a, a bit of a board, and so we think in terms of board, and we also think in terms of the style is more a Japanese ninja style. So now we have a, a historical style that we're working from and, and we're a flavor, a flavor. And we'll get into that a little bit more. So we're gonna take a, our first five and then we'll, uh, we'll be right back.